Hi, we're the Boomer Shines, and we have a dream of doing the Great American Loop with ourselves, our two kiddos, and our two cats. But first, you we gotta, gotta find, find a boat. boat. So, welcome to episode 31 of Virtual Boat Shopping, otherwise known as. BBS. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. So, in case you don't know, the Great American Loop is a way to circumnavigate the eastern seaboard of the United States of America using rivers, lakes, intercoastal waterways, and a little bit of the ocean. And in order to do it, your boat can't be any taller than 19 feet 6 inches or any deeper than 6 feet, preferably less than 5 feet. Our goal is to have it like 4 and a half feet deep, the draw of the boat. And we need three staterooms, so that are, those are our limiting constraints. Yes. And what are we looking at today, Mark? Well, I got a boat that fits all those constraints. Okay. And it's one that a lot of people recommend it. We just haven't gotten around to it. It is a Navigator. Okay. A 2003 Navigator 5700 Rival, Rival. It's probably Rival. It's 57 feet. And this one is located in the southern portion of Florida. In Miami for 425. Yeah, so let's go to this description. I feel like every boat says a unique, a unique opportunity, opportunity to, to own, own this, this rare, rare vessel. vessel. One of a one kind, kind must see in person. person. Yeah. So it's 57 feet long. It's max draft, four and a half. Eh, beam. It's not a beamy boat. It's only 15 feet. For its size. Wide. It's kind of a that's a pretty narrow, long boat. Ah, um, I like a beanie boat, and this is not one. So. 47,000 pounds for a 58-foot boat is all on, on the lighter side. Fuel of 100, 750 gallons, fresh water 200, holding tank 75, three cabins, two heads. Okay, let's look at it. Oh, did you look at the engines? Uh, I think it has Caterpillars. Propulsion. Volvo. And ours. Engine hours 1450. TAMD 74 L's 2002 with how many hours? 1450 and 1450 on the hours. And the doesn't have the generator. Okay. So there she is. It is a she's pretty. pretty true pilot house. Uh -huh. I do. I think it's it's kind of a no fuss. There's not much to love about. There's not much to not like about it. It's. It's I there. like it. I don't okay. love it like the Beneteau, which is gorgeous, or yeah. the Marlowe. Yeah. But it's not like a stormtrooper boat. Mm hmm. Okay. There's the Rival. I like Rival better than Rival. What's it named? The Motley Crew. It's okay. Newport, Rhode Island. Uh, all right, so here is one of the things about. One of the things about the Navigator is they do not, they did not design this boat to go on either side except for in front of the pilot house. So, so there's that no track means for the kids. There's no track for the kids that goes all the way around. What there is is a very safe enclosed aft uh, area here. And is that a jet ski or a tender up top? That's a jet ski. But I think in a later picture, there's a tender. And pretty good swim platform. I don't know how you, I assume there's a door right it, here. And that's not a sexy stern. It's not not sexy, but it's not a sexy stern. From the and back it, to the well, front, the bow. There's no seating up there. There's no seating. Ooh, and is there even a curb? Maybe a little, a couple inches. Let's keep looking. I'd like a curve around, a curb of some sort around the bow of the boat. So kids, cats. Toys just don't slide off the bow. Deep six. 86. <laughs> All right. So that's a bow. It's kind of like the Viking that we were looking at, the Viking 55. All, right, they're, all the boats are running together. And we don't, this one is currently on Yacht, Yacht World, but we don't know if it's still listed. A lot of the boats that you pull up on Yacht World are, aren't already sold, so yeah. don't be fooled. Dolphin viewing pulpit. It's all, this is not pieced together like a hatteras on the railing, so that seems to be a welded stainless steel. Only one anchor. Yeah. Okay, so there we can kind of see there's a pilot house door, and you come up and go around to the other pilot house door. Okay. I mean, there there is runaround space, and a big pilot house door. Is there only one pilot on the starboard side? Let's get inside. Let's take a look in the interior of this bad boy. See, so there, I mean, there's a grab rail here. So in a pinch for handling lines at a lock or something, you can, but... Not ideal. No. 
And I just think that's kind of tempting for our kids too. It would become a jungle gym for better or for worse. Yeah, now maybe they're gonna get really good at it. Uh, okay, so there's some aft seating. It's not built in, but that's a fairly good sized table. There's plenty of room to put a bench with yep. a table. Okay, so there is a door here that goes all the way down to the floor. So you open this up and it's pretty wide access to the okay. swing platform. That's a weird look. There are Stairs steps. up. Okay. This is nice and open. Open both of those doors. Yep. I'm an artist, so I need a painting space. So that's what this would all be. We but would need to build some you'd sort need of canvas. Some storage, you'd need more shade. There's I no imagine. sink back here. There's no. Other boats have better setups for that, for your exterior mobile art studio. <laughs> but that's pretty easy passage from, say, inside the boat across and down to the swim platform. Yeah. With bikes or something like that to the dinghy. Okay. They're 112 photos, so they're just really building it up here. Okay, we got okay. washdowns. All right. Straight to the electrical panel. Yeah, that's the way to lead in. Nice panel. I mean, is there such thing as a nice panel? I think that was right. Okay. There you go. Well, that's good space. I like it. And this navigator, as opposed to a lot of the other navigators that I've looked at, and I admit a big turnoff for me on the navigators was the bleached wood. This is a darker wood. I think this is a prettier wood. So yeah, but I like, I very long. Like bleached wood. Okay, so that's kind of snuggerific. TV over there, chairs, and is that uh, a passage down? That's actually a really good space. That's great space. Okay, navigators, look, looking up. For a 15-foot boat, it's because the you're not you're not wasting space on the walkways on the side. So that so the, it's the a full interior beam. space feels. Yeah. Feels just as big as the 17 foot boats. And look at this, look at the headliners. Those look snappy. They do look as snappy. Opposed to they're some not other saggy boats. or saggy. Aesthetically, I mean, it's a safe interior. There's not much that, it, but it looks clean. That looks like a well loved boat. I mean, that space is great. That's really homey. Uh huh. Is There's that like a an door. Old... Okay, so wait, you. Wait, wait. What, if that's the TV, what's that? That's the panel. I think it's a panel. That's your electrical panel right mm -hmm. there. Okay. So then I think you go down a step or two and then this goes under it. So the master is back here somewhere. Okay. That's really great. You know what it reminds me of? The symbol. Mm hmm. Oh, is that like an old. Chunkerific TV or? Mm -hmm. I think it's a tube TV. All right, so then we come up and this is a fairly good galley from what I've looked at on other ones. So full-size fridge opposite, looks like a Norcold or one of those that was on the Meridian, which was in. Nice sink. Look at all this countertop. Mm-hmm. And then a dedicated dining space and the helm chair, I bet you swivels to become- Part of the dining. Part of the dining, extra seating. I mean, that's quite spacious. The helm is in the middle of the kitchen. <laughs> You're basically in the kitchen steering the boat, but that's not terrible. No. I mean, has it got a dishwasher? I assume it does. We don't know. <laughs> You're that's just interesting. Sitting there. <laughs> it's, it's almost like, what does it remind me of? It's not an like... RV. That's an, it's an RV. That's an RV chair, by the way. It would be comfortable. Does it have like the flaps hanging down, which I can't stand? Go back. Yes. The upholstery flaps? Yes. Yeah. I don't know why that bugs me. I'd put a stid chair. Anyway, uh, there's no dishwasher. There wasn't a dishwasher on another one that I looked at. Are but you it, sure? You've got a lot of cabinetry here. Yes, you could put one in. It's a decent sized kitchen. So there's the fridge. Oh, it's one of those kind of compact RV yeah. fridges. Okay, which is not a big fridge. I mean, that's great space. I mean, you got yeah. all, you're on autopilot. You can make a sandwich and then hop back down. <laughs> well, a lot of the kitchens are there, but they're galleys. They're like a U. Whereas There's something is... dividing. <laughs> this is. No, it's funny, isn't it? But I mean, like you could easily have one kid making sandwiches while I'm chopping vegetables, and you know, mm -hmm. it won't be as claustrophobic. Now, how many people do you think that little table see seats? One, two, three. Well, I think Four. you're being generous. 
That's a pretty big pillow. Yeah, but you gotta sit at the table. Anyway, totally doable, great space. Let's go down below. Let's keep looking at this. This is built, I think, because these side curtains are pulled, but it's kind of like. That would be a cozy spot where those two pillows are. Naperific. Mm hmm. Oh, there is only one door. There's only one oh. pilot house door. So if you got to handle lines on this side, you got to go out around. around or and you can't go back and around. I'm sure they designed the boat okay. around that. VIP. VIP, lots of storage. This is a clean boat. Clean. Well done on the photos, not necessarily agreeing with the order, but this is a pick up the boat, get it clean, let's I get know. it ready for photos broker. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. shout out to Gregory Bashar. <laughs> Way to go, Gregory. Well done, well done. We won't call out the bad ones, but if you did a good job, we'll give you a shout out. Oh my god. So there's the VIP with the TV and I don't know what that is, storage. It's a fake orchid. No, but the black oh. hole. Okay. All right, we got a companion way to Ooh, kids. That looks like a bigger bed on the bottom, doesn't it? It's a double over a twin, uh, I think it was photographical. Trickery. Okay, keep going. Not the same one? Just the coloring looks different? Mm hmm Okay, washer, washer dryer. Washer dryer, stackable. Or one unit, whatever, what do you call these? Stackable. I mean, but... The, but that's with the bow, that's an 03 vintage. Back up to the helm. Thank you, Gregory. Now, where's the... We're going back to the master. Because oh. you had to go past, okay. you gotta go yeah. Yeah, through. That looks like a long, skinny bed. But look at that, you are not missing your makeup on that right there. I'm sorry to be sexist and that's a makeup station. Maybe it's a workstation for you, I don't know, but whatever it is, that is some excellent lighting. And that is a really long, narrow bed, but yeah, so there's that's the salon. I mean, it, it, especially if you had teenagers, that would be a much better layout. There, that looks wider. All the navigators I've looked at have had black toilets, for better or for worse. How do you know if your black toilet is really clean when it's a black toilet? These are things I think about. But you don't see rings? Ever. Shower in the corner? Okay. I mean, this boat has, it checks all our boxes. It's actually quite a surprise. Oh, flybridge. All right, let's see how the, the flybridge holds up. Except when you're selling the boat, go back, Gregory, you need to take the covers off. I bet you Gregory's not gonna let us down. <laughs> Come on, Gregory. He's showing that it has the covers. Okay, but I need to see what's under all these covers. He's just setting the stage here because he's got 112 photos to burn. Gregory the man! Gregory the man! <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so that is, that's, I mean it's got a grill, it's got a full outdoor kitchen. Mm -hmm. This is surprising. Sink, grill, countertop area, that looks Comfortable. Uh huh. Um, oh, you got double navigator and okay. captain, and then look, a rear facing seat. I mean, I think this boat would totally do everything we need to do. Here, the one drawback is the lack of runaround for the kids. We're at anchor, it's rainy, or not rainy, but we're at anchor, and the kids want to, they're hyper. So Where are they going to go? Given that the interior space is doing the same thing as some of the other boats we looked at, I put this on the maybe because the other boats we've looked at, like the symbol, um, had runaround space. Mm -hmm. And by runaround, exterior track to do all the, you know, I think our kids would be safer, and I think that's a better bet. I think why this is a maybe, a yes, a strong maybe to yes, but not an absolute yes. It's because of that. Is because of the walk around. If because the layout's fantastic inside. If this had a walk around, this would be a, a mm -hmm. definite yes. Yeah. So, but it's a maybe. <laughs> That's the cause for concern. Yes. And it's 15 feet. Yeah. The width is yeah. uh, the beam is less than we want. But yeah. So that is a 2003 Navigator 5700 Revolve. <laughs> Revolve. Rival, Revolve. Rival. Uh, we love all the comments. Keep them coming. Thank you for following along on our adventures and our journeys. If you want to follow more along on our daily stuff, you can watch us on Instagram at the Boomer Shines, where you get silly stuff like us fostering babies. These babies, not real babies. Baby kittens and baby puppies. 
I guess kittens and puppies mm -hmm. are babies. Um, anyway, and what else? Uh, we got some things working in the background that we're um, not quite gonna... This is actually our second episode 31. The first episode 31 that we filmed, we decided we can't post because we actually may buy the boat. Yeah, just have to tune in for that one. But until, but until then, then... Shine on!